Former Area 51 engineer claimed to have worked on reverse-engineered UFOs. A former Area 51 engineer revealed in an interview having worked on reverse-engineered alien technology. The former engineer claimed the UFO generated its own gravitational field. 2022 seems to be the year when ufology became a serious subject worthy of the most rigorous scientific study. Serious institutions are now investigating UFOs. NASA has a team of astrophysicists trying to figure out these mysterious objects. The Pentagon has a particular UFO office dedicated entirely to the phenomena, and not long ago, Congress implied UFOs were alien technology. However, back in 2013, Dr. Stephen Greer, who is a known ufologist, published an interview with a very interesting person called Captain House. This individual claimed to have worked at Area 51. But not only that. He claimed to have worked with alien technology. And he revealed he had seen a downed UFO. Who is Captain Dada House? In addition to serving the Marine Corps for 10 years in the Fighter Pilot Corps, Captain Dada House served in the Air Force for 4 years as a test pilot for exotic experimental aircraft, F-89, B-47, F-102, etc. He then worked as an engineer for defense contractors for the next 30 years. Despite the fact that he passed away in August 2009, ufologist Stephen Greer filmed his testimony a few years earlier for one of his documentaries. According to Uhouse, in 1958, he was invited to work on new secret technology by a man whose identity was not revealed. According to Captain Dadahouse, the project he was invited to work on, was a flying disc simulator. It was supposedly based on a redesigned 100-foot-long UFO that crashed in Kingman, Arizona, in 1953. Eventually, the crashed UFO was sent to Area 51, which, at the time, was still under construction. When the UFO crashed, the Army recovered its contents and pilots. Survivors of the incident were said to be four extraterrestrial beings injured in varying degrees. After being rescued, the alien crew was transported to Los Alamos. There, they assisted with the reverse engineering of the recovered UFO. Captain Newhouse, was brought in to assess the flight deck and the instruments on the flight deck. He understood the gravitational field and what was needed to train people to experience anti-gravity. In the interview, he revealed that he met with an alien they called J-Rod, or Jared, several times. This being is said to have helped physicists and engineers understand the ship. Furthermore, there was only one of them, an alien, who talked to the scientists in the lab, and the rest didn't talk to anyone, he said. He clarified that the communication seemed to take place through telepathy. They actually talk, but not like we do. Additionally, due to its sophisticated design, the flying saucer was unable to carry external components such as weapons. In addition, it took a good deal of time to learn how to operate it and adapt to it. As Uhouse explained, this object generated its own gravitational field, which meant that inside it, there was no up or down. He stressed that his work differed from that of Bob Lazar, 